Balancing the foreign policy toolkit is an enormous challenge. The remedy to some of these issues is not just pouring more resources in. It's doing it in a way that is going to make the different pieces of our, of our government more interoperable, optimize their ability to interact with one another, and to comb out unnecessary redundancy in systems. It's easy to appropriate money for defense because it's almost a litmus test for patriotism. Give more money to the troops. That's the obvious one, and we think that if you're for a higher defense budget, you're more patriotic. Well, that's obviously too simplistic. The other part is there's a constituency for defense expenditures. And often when we think about funding our diplomacy, we get that confused with straight foreign aid. There's a combination of reasons why Congress seems to embrace nearly limitless defense spending. It's a combination of uh, defense contractors are very strategic about making sure that they have plants and facilities in virtually every congressional district in the country. They do a great deal of outreach to make sure that members of Congress are aware that there are defense-related jobs in their districts. For the military, the biggest thing that sustains the Defense Department's budget is the economic relationship that it has with the communities where bases are located. The American economy is not used to being particularly engaged with the State Department. It simply lacks the domestic constituency that would support its budget.